So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do furniture layout in AutoCAD using the internet to create just blocks out of nowhere for sofas, chairs, beds, etc. Let's get into it. All right, so this is uh, where we left off and uh, basically did a bathroom layout, kitchen layout, and then copied that bathroom layout for the master. Uh, this video, I'm going to just go ahead and just do a time lapse, time lapse of my workflow. And uh, yeah, really want to furnish this. So the goal is to fit a king bed in here, some nightstands, uh, this design out this closet with a little stool to sit in. I might do a standing mirror uh, in here and then the same layout in these. I might have to add like a chair or two into this master bedroom to kind of make it feel good. Uh, lay out this closet, lay out this storage closet, lay out this mechanical closet that's going to house the uh, AC unit and furnace with a water heater over here. And uh, I might have to do a bigger door so that way it's all accessible, maybe like a 36 inch door. So that way I could have the water heater open the door or the AC unit and then open the door and still also service this water heater if there's like a disconnection issue. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, and I want to design this mudroom, so I'm essentially going to put a washing machine here, a little room to sit next to it, and then maybe some sitting areas for here to put your kick off your boots. And then if I have enough time, uh, I'll probably lay out this living room. And it's pretty wide. I'm essentially thinking we're going to have a large, maybe a chaise sofa here, and then a couple chairs, and then a fireplace with a TV on this wall. And then enough room for like a little credenza for someone to walk around and just to set stuff on. But yeah. So you know what? Before I get into it, before I get into it, um, I'm really just going to go find a bunch of furniture on Ikea. That way I could do a bulk order, have it mailed to me, build it and put it in. But they generally represent nice sizes of anything you could find. So yeah, let's go. Really, I'm trying to find a king bed, go to the dimensions, and I draw everything in polylines. This keeps them all grouped together and easy to move around. My nightstand, the midpoint, mirror, copy paste. One was a little trickier. I drew out the rectangle, scaled it. And kind of got the legs where they go, just to represent where it is. Size my door, put in the AC unit, it's going off a generic size of about 22 by 28. I found this interesting little mudroom kit. Washer dryer, stacked unit, give it a rough size. Wasn't too sure how to solve this little area, it created a weird corner. I decided to just do open shelving stuff stacked back in there. While I ponder more. Thought about adding a little door to it. Didn't like it. This is a little block with an electronic fireplace with a TV above it. I'm going to add in the sofa. Make it a block. Find some armchairs. Sometimes I paste in a screenshot and just kind of draw from that in CAD.
Make it a block. There you go. And I copied them and stacked them. Try different layouts. layer properties you can add a, a little note called visibility so you can make a like a smart block for different things in one block probably one of my favorite tools on a coffee table i like throw it in there draw out a rug size But yeah, anyways, so I'm really liking how this floor plan is. A few little things I need to work out is this mudroom here. And uh, I really don't like how wide this living room is. It's like 15 feet to sit here and then watch the TV. So that means that TV will have to be like a 60 inch television, which I'm not down with on a rental. So I might look at rotating it and putting the TV here between these two. Uh... Can't talk. Between these two. Uh... Windows. Jesus. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment and see you. Thank you.